So what are you what are you excited about about the record? I'm excited for its impact on the world because I know that your heart's really in it and it's coming from a good place and this is your form of ministry and it always has been. I think our whole life uh, is a journey of God leading us and not just leading us to, you know, some utopia or some happy place, uh, but leading us with a song of loving kindness, leading us by His love. He leads us with His love and He's ultimately leading us to Himself. I heard the chorus in my head of, You lay waste of my darkness. And I recorded it on my phone. It was just a reminder of what the Lord has placed inside of me being Jesus. And so when I was writing it, I was noticing that it had like a soulful feel. I remember when you heard it, I was like, this is different. And I just went along with it. And it reminded me kind of like, man, this kind of reminds me of, you know, when we lived in Indiana and it felt more like a gospel roots. It's just all about the fact that I've got Jesus with me. And um, because of that, regardless of what's happening in my life, things will always line up. We only saw you at home standing in front of an old console TV <laughs> with a toy guitar <laughs> and a toy microphone. You thought you were singing, but your sisters thought you were babbling, and they would <laughs> always say, Mom, tell him, shut up. And I'd say, let him, he's, he's fine, let him sing. I'm grateful that God has allowed me to still be here to see what he's doing in your life and to be a part of you evolving into who you are. It's a blessing and it's an honor. Everybody in my family is so musical. I can't think of a time where music wasn't being played or practiced or something. I had a natural inclination to just go to music. It was always something that was happening in my family. I hope that like everyone can really feel you know, the conviction in your, your voice and your ministry. That's what I love about when I listen to you sing. Uh, it's like I can feel it, you know, and I want the whole world to, to feel it. The New Grace, I remember when I was writing that song, it was several years ago when I actually wrote the song, but I remember being at a, a low place in life and just writing that song of like, you make me new again, uh, you lead me with the song of loving kindness. And God's grace, though it never changes, it might look different today than it did yesterday. So that's the kind of the emotion behind it. Wherever you're at in life, there's a grace for you to get through whatever it is you're facing. Hey, I just wanted to call and tell you what new grace means to me. You know, it's a song about the extraordinary grace and mercy of God and how it's always ready to meet you wherever you are. You make me do again. You leave me with the song of loving kindness. Brought me from a broken home into a mansion built by your hands. I'm found in
already had this plan for you, had given a gift to you, has anointed you to do, to do just that. God knows the plans and they're so, so good for you. <laughs> they're so, so good. And I'm confident in that because your aim, your music, your ministry aims to give hope to the world. You can't lose that way. You know, I always felt like this is what you could do, what you would do. So it's just exciting to see it actually coming together and happening. I'm hoping that through this EP, people would experience the person of Jesus, that they would know that he is really and truly God with us. He's Emmanuel, God with us. have to look for our satisfaction in anything on earth um, because it's found in Him. I'm not